Hello everyone, it's Kiman here. In this video, I'll be sharing with you some tips on how to optimize your usage of Google Scholar in searching for scholarly works or like journal articles and even books and, and whatnot to support your assignment. First thing, um, go to scholar.google.com. If you realize that it automatically changed to .my, means it has been localized to the traffic in Malaysia. That means whatever you search, it will rank according to the traffic from Malaysia. So sometimes if you do this, your search result will be a bit limited. So when you see this, just click to go to Google Scholar here and then make sure that is scholar.google.com only. Then you will, you get a wider uh, search. First tip is when you search, please use the uh, quotation mark when you are searching for important keywords not everything but just the important keywords so for example if you're looking for student perception then you might want to highlight that and then followed by your uh, you know uh, on let's say school, school homework for example and you will see that the word like student perception and school homework will be highlighted for you all right, this is the first tip. But if you realize that the, if the result is a bit too uh, too little, right, like this one, too few, it's about 144, then you might want to maybe add S and see whether sometimes it changes. So you get more when you change it to student perception. So this is how you limit your search so that only the important one or the related one comes out, not something like, you know, everything. So let's say if I remove this, just to let you see the difference, if I remove the quotation marks, see you get 268,000. So chances are you will have to go through a lot. And sometimes, some are not really uh, related because, um, how to put it, they try to randomize everything. Like uh, they will search for student, they will search for perception, they will search for school and homework. They will, they will try to do all kind of combination, right? But if you think that the search is a lot, then you might want to limit using the quotation mark. Okay, that's the first tip. The second tip is the, uh, take a look at the site here. You will see the file being labeled like PDF, you know, uh, and so on. So, uh, meaning Google has helped you to kind of identify the file type of that article. So if you see PDF and all this, for example, then chances are these articles can be downloaded and viewable. So that helps you to kind of get access to the full article. The third tip, in case this doesn't work, then you might want to click the version. Some article may have been uploaded to different sites and different databases. So if you click here, you will see other sources of the same article. So sometimes the first link doesn't work, you might want to try other links. And you can see here, I have 13 different version of the same thing. So this would help you to get access to the file easier the fourth tip is actually this uh, listing by time you know uh, at the moment everything is listed at any time in even as way back as early as 90s or 80s so if you are looking for articles in the certain period then you might want to custom the range for example if you are looking for only 2010 to 2020 for example just search and you will see that the results are limited for within this period of time if you want it to be more recent, then you can change it to 2015 to 2020. Then you get even more specific. If you want by specific year, like in this case, then you can just click a single year like this. Then you get only one year. This is useful if you're looking for literature review because literature review tend to uh, require you to uh, review only the recent ones because older research may not long may no longer be relevant, all right, or may not be. Uh, sufficient enough for you to justify certain scope. You can still review the old articles, but it's always good to support it with a recent one. So this is how you... Tip number five is, if you do not want to sort by relevance like I'm showing now, you can also sort by date in case you want to find, um, you know, really specific one. So if you click sort by date, and I click everything here, and then you can see like two days ago, three days ago, and then so on. So you sort by the date all right so that would help you to kind of know which one is really the recent one but it's very rare for us to use this because uh, usually we go for the relevance tip number six if you want to uh, 
do the citation, you will see this uh, quotation icon here, right? Let's say you found this article to be useful and you have uh, used it in your uh, citation. You would like to put it in your reference. Uh, you can do it using other software like Mendeley and whatnot. But if you like to use the Google one, just click this one. And then it comes with different format. So you can use the APA. If you're using APA, then you can use this APA format. But mind you, because this is auto captured from the article, sometimes some articles may not have enough information, let's say missing volume or missing page number. So you can still fill in the, the details on your own, but do cross check. Tip number seven is to search the article by author. In a way, sometimes you already know that uh, certain articles are written by uh, certain famous uh, author. Let's say if you search this one and you notice that this name keep appearing, you might want to click on the author. So you can take a look at the author's work over the years. You can even sort by year now. And then you see what are the recent articles written by this particular author, for example. So this is one way for you to uh, look for articles by author. If you do not want to use this method, you can also go to this tab here and then go to advanced search and you can find a more specific one like, for example, a recent article authored by who. So you can put the name there. But I tend to prefer by clicking this because sometimes when we search and we notice that the names are being, uh, you know, underlined or highlighted, then we just click. So this is one way for us to find out more articles from the author. Tip number eight is this saved function. All right. So um, if you sign into your Google Scholar account, like what I'm doing now, if you sign in using your Gmail to Google Scholar and you will see the star, if you click save, let's say I save this to, it will go to your my library here. So you will see that the articles are safe here. So why is this useful? Because sometimes you might want to use that article again and you're scared that you lose it, right? Sometimes you forgot where we get it from. So you might want to bookmark it and save it into your library. And then you can even search your library. All right. Tip number nine is for you to search for more articles of the same topic. If you realize that whatever you search here is not really useful, you might want to click related articles. And all the articles of the same topic will be listed out for you. Tip number 10, which is very useful, is to add location to your search um, results. In a way, for example, you want to find only articles in Malaysia, you might want to add like with a quotation mark Malaysia. And when you search, you will see that only those done in related to the Malaysian context will be listed. So this would help you to narrow down your scope even further in helping you to find the right articles or the right resources for your review or for your writing. Alright, so those are the 10 tips that I can offer you. Hopefully, it will save your time. At the same time, improve the quality of the articles that you are looking for. Alright, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel for more tips. And see you again.